All right, hello again, my friends. We're back. It's a late night review. Leave that light on. Late night review here. A little cold outside, so we'll stick inside here on this uh, Thanksgiving Eve. It's the old man back there. Uh, I've got one here, a treat that I do not remember re trying. I've not recalled this beer. I had my sister pick it up, single bottle. It's from the Bell's Brewing Company. Been on a Bell's kick of late. This is the special double cream stout. Special double cream stout from the Bell's Brewing Company. Of course, they're located out of Kalamazoo, Michigan. Well, this says Comstock in the bottle. I've never really understood that. They're out of Kalamazoo. Bottle says Comstock. Uh, this is a, labeled as a sweet stout. A uh, couple particulars about this beverage. 6.1% uh, alcohol by volume. It's typical milk sweet stouts. 6-7%, so that's on cue. Pretty standard stuff there. Uh, brewed and bottled on 8 17 It's one thing you do like about Bells is they are very particular with their beers right there. 8 17 so we're, you know, right at three months old, which is nothing for stouts. I mean, that's good for IPAs. We're very in good shape with this beer. Uh, here we go. It says on the back of the bottle name for its velvety, smooth, creamy texture. Bells Special Double Cream Stout is brewed with 10 different specialty roasted malts chosen to impart notes of rich mocha and espresso dark sweet tones intermingle with a soft roasty finish. Now, I was talking to my good friend Zach Rogers tonight, uh, great beer guy. Uh, he said he had this. He said it was very good. I may have had this beer. You know, I think so many stouts from Bell's, hard to really keep up. So our Bell's bottle cap there, very good. Brown logo, very good. That's a unique cap, so we're going to throw that in there. And let's go ahead and get a pour. Uh, I do have some Bell's glassware, but again, at the folks' house, so... Oh, this Braxton glassware, which will be perfect. Let's get a pour on this. Uh... On this Bell's Sweet Step. Now, this should actually be a little lighter in color than most stouts. But we'll see. Pretty good pour here. Really good pour. Again, 6.2% ABV by volume. There it is. Pretty good. Pretty good pour. Maybe a little bit of nice head. I'm going to top of that here there. Yeah, I was been on a bit of a Bell's kick, you know, I, uh, went back in my reviews, I, you know, I did the Cherry Stout again this week, uh, the night actually that I broke my arm, I, I did the Cherry Stout, and that was phenomenal, I don't know if I got a bad batch or if the, that particular barrel was off, but the one I drank two, two weeks ago was phenomenal, my goodness, but anyway, back to the special double cream stout, I did a lot of searching on this one, uh, there's the pour, really dark, I mean, obviously most people have a nice amount of head, I didn't give it wasn't too aggressive with the pour, but there is some head on there. Let's go ahead and get an aroma. Well, I tell you what, it says there's 10 malts in there, and I'm well aware of that is malt forward, which is good. I like malt beers. I was looking at the website, see there's 10 varieties of malts in this, and they are not shy on this one, folks. Wow, they are not shy at all. So, without further ado, let's let's uh, thank the brewers at Bell's for the wonderful work they do in uh, producing. Uh, Good craft beer that we can all can enjoy. And uh, let's wish everybody an early happy Thanksgiving. Uh, about an hour and a half from now, 10.30 here on Wednesday night. So happy Thanksgiving, happy game week for the boys of the Wolverines. And cheers to everyone who's watching. Here we go. Thanks. Well, I tell you what. I tell you what, that is a good, good, good beer. Wow. Really smooth. Yeah, really creamy. Uh, not really the cream flavor, but that is tremendous. I mean, I'm getting some roasted malts, or some dark caramel malts. They all blend well. And another another gem from Bell's. I mean, Bell's is just one of the elite breweries. And, and they, I've had a couple that I've not been fond of. This is a really good. And yeah, this is what you would call just a really good beer. Very easy drinkable. In my opinion, a go-to beer. 6.1, I said on the bottle there. Look at that lovely lacing. I tell you what, some good lacing there. All right, one more sip. This beer was sitting for about 10 minutes, maybe 15. Oh, that's nice. My goodness. A very, very yeah, special beer here. Well, like I said, there's some cream flavors, some flaked oats perhaps. But I really like the blend of malt. You could tell that there's three or four different kinds of malts, but they blend well. Almost like they put the same amount of each malt. And that's what we're saying with a lot of these recipes is the change a bit. It's a different amounts of malts. Not so much that the a recipe will be different. Uh, hops or the malts change, but it's just the amounts. If you see a recipe change, 
Uh, excuse me, got the hiccups coming in now. That would be a change of recipe, but it's just a different amount. The uh, ingredient is the same per se. So I'm going to give this an A. I think this is excellent. Uh, one more sip here. Oh. Good beer. You know, I was hoping for the uh, winter warmer of the Christmas sale. I didn't have that, and I got this, and I'm glad. So A plus for me. Another gem from Bill's. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and we'll see you back perhaps tonight with Breckenridge, perhaps. See how this uh, game in Maui goes. But I will say this, we're two for two tonight. Michigan gets a big one over VCU in the Quads. Your Cincinnati Cyclones blanked the Toledo Walleye tonight. So a good night there, folks. So cheers, everybody. See you.